So the other day we looked at some players that were labelled as being the next Diego Maradona. And today we're back with part two. So get ready for the final five players who were labelled the next Diego Maradona and what happened to them. Number nine, Carlos Tevez. Gifted the number 10 shirt by Boca, he was the heir apparent to Maradona in the early 2000s. He made his debut for the team at just 16 years of age and by the 2003 season, he had won the quadruple with them. After two seasons spent with Corinthians, he then bizarrely moved to West Ham, where he was involved in some of the most controversial dealings going on in the Premier League history. He did however save the Hammers from relegation, but put down Sheffield United in the process, which left Neil Warnock angrier than usual, and that's pretty angry. After that debacle, he then moved to Man United, where he won two Premier League titles, the Champions League, as well as three other trophies. He then jumped ship to Man City where he won the league title in 2012 and then left to join Juventus where he might have been at the peak of his powers, scoring 39 goals in just 66 games. While he's now having baths of money in China and not really doing anything else, he is still one of the better players to be named the new Maradona. New Maradona rating B-. Number 10, Ezequiel Lavetti. Bit of an odd one this because the comparisons to El Diego didn't come until a little bit later in his career. In fact, it wasn't until his move to Napoli that the comparisons started to happen, in particular when he scored against Udinese and was called inspirational and that Napoli had finally managed to replace Diego. But oddly, when asked about the comparisons, he said he would rather be compared to Carlos Tevez. He spent five seasons with Napoli before moving to PSG where he won four consecutive league titles. Like Carlos Tevez, he's just moved to China, which is definitely not for the money, he just loves the Chinese game. Number 11, Sergio Aguero. Aguero actually managed to marry Maradona's daughter and El Diego is the grandfather to Aguero's son, which is some pretty good DNA. Anyway, he made his debut for Independiente at the age of just 15 and went to score 23 times in just 54 games before making a massive move to Atleti. Since then, he's moved on to Man City for a reported £38 million and has netted a whopping 169 goals in just 253 games. New Maradona rating A-, all the goals but needs a World Cup. Number 12, Lionel Messi. What a surprise. Another player that Maradona claimed was the heir to his throne, but it actually looks like he got that prediction correct for once. In fact, many believe that Messi is not only better than Maradona, but the best player to have ever played, so we'll let you argue that out in the comments. What we will say though is that Messi has won 8 league titles, 4 Champions Leagues, 5 Ballon d'Ors, and has been named in the FIFA Team of the Year for the past decade. Really, all he would need now is a World Cup to really put that debate to bed. New Maradona rating A+. And finally, number 13, Franco Di Santo. Yes, we seriously said that. Good God, there was actually a serious moment in time where Di Santo was given the new Maradona moniker. And it's safe to say that that was a pretty hilariously bad call. For starters, Di Santo was by far the tallest compared to Maradona. He's six foot four, almost a full foot taller than him. But let's be honest, that's hardly the biggest difference between the two of them. After signing for Chelsea for more than 3 million, he moved to Blackburn on loan before joining Wigan where he scored just twice in 55 games. That was until the 2012 season when he managed to score a whopping 7 goals. He somehow managed to bag himself a move to Werder Bremen and 14 goals in his second season saw him secure a £6 million move to Schalke. De Santo is 28 and has only scored 57 career goals in almost 300 matches. So if De Santo does eventually end up becoming somehow better than Maradona, we will happily eat his sweaty socks. And that's our list. Do you think that Messi is better than Maradona? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share this video and be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already.